Do you see this? I can't believe this happened, guys. Hello, yarn friends. It's Morgan with Dream9 Design. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a few things to talk about. One of them being my Furls crochet hooks. I finally broke one. Now, mind you, I did not mean to break my hook. I've heard of this happening. I honestly did not think that it would happen to me. I thought it was crazy that anybody could break a crochet hook. I've never broken a crochet hook, but then again, I've never used resin crochet hooks. Um, it was my fault. I had a feeling this was going to happen. Um, before I move on, how is everybody? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you are all doing. What's your projects? What are you working on? I got a lot done this week, so we have a lot that we're gonna go over today. But let me go. Now, inside this little mushroom case guy, it was meant for my phone. That's what it is for, I'm not gonna lie. But this is my hook. Do you see this? I broke the tip. But like I said, it was my fault. I was rushing. I was trying to get a project done and I was in my car and I had a stitch that I just couldn't quite do. I didn't have a ton of yarn and I was just trying to close off like the very tip of a project. Um, realistically, I probably should have remade what I was doing, but I had the customer inside at my work and I was like just trying to get it done. Anyways, I popped off this. So I went ahead and I reordered a hook. So this one is the, I believe it's the Sagittarius line from Furls, but I went ahead and I ordered this one right here, which is their new Capricorn hooks. I'm really excited. So that's gonna replace my, um, my four millimeter hook. I also have some really exciting news. Furls actually, well, let's see, I'm gonna put this out tomorrow, so Saturday, Saturday, so today, but it's Friday. So today I saw on Furl's Instagram that they had their aluminum hooks out. I've really, really, really wanted to try these and it said, run, don't walk, order it now. You have to get them. So I only had like $19 in my bank. I have other money, but I didn't have any in my bank account that I was able to do. So I went ahead and used their Afterpay. And I, if you guys don't know, these are the hooks. They're really, really, cool looking. Um, they're very sleek, shiny. We all like shiny. So I went ahead and I ordered three. I think that I got them in a four millimeter, a 5.5, and I think a 6.5. I'm not sure. We'll see when they come. It's going to be a few weeks. I use their Afterpay, and so those should be coming soon. It also included a single like leather pouch case. I'll put a picture right here um, of yeah, I really wanted to do the clutch, but I just couldn't spend more money to be able to get that. But I want to show you guys this really fast. I think I'm going to do a tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see a tutorial for this. It's just a little mushroom phone case with a button. Now, to get into my whips and projects that I'm doing right now and throughout the week, because today is Friday. Now, if you see right here, I have this little table popped up. I pull this out in the living room when I need it for projects. Now I have four panels right now. I'm working up a sweater thing and I'm doing it in a tutorial. So I'm actually in between filming the tutorial for this and doing this vlog. So this tutorial I think should be out on Monday. We'll see. I'm trying to get down a schedule for one tutorial a week, one vlog a week, one live a week. So I'm just trying to figure out what day would work best so we can kind of just keep it all cohesive because I found that I love watching, binging. So anyway, so I have four of those done. So make sure that you guys keep an eye out for that. I also have the sleeve panel over there. So that's something I've been working on is all of these. I'm also working on a little cardigan sweater guy for my daughter. So this is a smaller kid size. I did the sleeves much smaller as you see they're little tubes. If you guys want I can do a tutorial on this as well. Um, my daughter's longer so I mean <clears throat> realistically it wouldn't it would not fit me in length. Um, and then yeah I have to sew up the sleeves here. I have to sew up the sides and then this will be done. I think I'll leave the neck 
line like this. Um, but this is basically what this other thing is going to be, but it's going to be bigger because there's going to be two panels because it's for like an adult. So that's what this project is, but I'm really enjoying how this came out. I think the colors are really great. The two panels, you know, they're pretty, I don't know, they're not exactly even, but they go really, really well. And my daughter's really excited. She touched the yarn. She's like, Ooh, it's so soft. Mom, it's so soft. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, I've already almost filled my bag. If you didn't know, I am actually trying to save all my scraps, which I'm not going to lie. I haven't saved all of my scraps. <laughs> I've thrown away a lot more than this. Um, I don't know. It's just a fun little thing. I'm going to end up using these for stuffing um, instead of polyfill. Now, I also, trying to reach back here, did a previous video of things that you guys can make and sell. Kind of how to make extra side money, crocheting. Um, this little guy here, I can also do a tutorial on this. Um, it's for a mason jar. They also fit on pint glasses. So I had a bar reach out to me and they said that one of their customers had ordered these guys off um, Etsy and thought that I should make them and sell them at the bar. So I want to do that. I want to throw on some little handmade tags. Now, these are the only ones that I have. I ordered these ones on Amazon, but I do want to get custom tags made. Um, these just say handmade with love. However, I can't put it on there and fold it down this way because the wording would come out wrong. So I'm just going to simply flip it like this and then sew it on. So there's going to be a little flappy guy, which I'm not super, super stoked with, but it'll be okay. It's going to work for now and we'll see if they sell. We'll see if they're popular, but that was something that was really fun and really basic. So if you guys want me to do a video um, tutorial on how to do that, I can do that as well. Now, drum roll. We're going to move on to the biggest project that I have been working on and I am almost done with it. I was on a live. I had a giant thing of yarn. Um, and I asked you guys what you thought I should make with it. So it was the Pound of Love yarn. And there's like a thousand, a thousand and something yards in this, which is crazy. But you guys said that I should make the Lost Souls shawl. And this is what it's looking like so far. <laughs> I love it. I'm not going to lie. I don't really see the pattern that well. But then when I held it up in front of the camera, I was like, oh my gosh. I can see the pattern so much better. So I'm not sure how much bigger I'm going to go on this, but I'm adding another thing of skulls right now. Um, honestly, if I were to keep this, but I think I'm going to sell it or not sell it. I'm sorry. I'm going to give it away next year for 2023 Christmas gift. Um, but I also feel like I should make it black. See, that's how I would wear it. And if I wear it, you can't really, you can't really see the pattern. So I don't know. That's the other biggest thing. Honestly, I was going bacon on this. I don't like ham that much. So I'm saying bacon. Um, but I was trying to go bacon on this to try and get it done by the time I filmed this video right now, but that didn't happen and that's okay, but it will be definitely done by next week, um, for my next follow-up video. Next week, hopefully, um, I am going to have my new Capricorn, I think that's what it was, the Capricorn crochet hook, and um, the four millimeter, it should be here on Monday. So I will definitely have that next week. I don't know if I will have the new hooks that I just ordered <laughs> by next week. Um, but next Saturday, I am going to have another little follow-up vlog thing. So just kind of stay tuned. I'm gonna be doing regular vlogs on Saturdays, whips, um, foes just kind of updates yarn yarn related talky stuff like this video um, somewhere in the middle of the week I'm not sure where I'm just gonna throw out a tutorial so somewhere in the week you'll see a, a new tutorial every week somewhere in there and then every Saturday you can rely on seeing these vlogs and just kind of yarn updates and yarny talks now 
just stay tuned. I've got a lot more coming for you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, remember, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are working on because when I get done with this project here, I'm going to need more projects to do. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys all next time. Thank you.